hope you're watching. My stomach growls and claws at itself. I've not eaten. You have a good heart. The few travelers who walk down this road pretend not to notice my muddy scales. All roads are made of the same dirt. One is not more generous than another. More travelers could lead to more travelers looking past my curved tail. Chewing rocks has more appeal. I tried cities. They did not suit me. My scales need the wind of the countryside. So I wander. My scales are happy. My feet are tired. Only my stomach longs for more. I've heard of the festivals taking place. But would a festival for Xenathar be welcoming toward beggars? Or will the merchants there be generous? Yes, I think I will try. If nothing else, I can always follow another road out of the city. Thank you. I will eat well and sleep happily tonight. My stock isn't as plentiful as it once was, thanks to those thieving Droblog. But you're welcome to browse what remains. That was the middle part. Shendi writes as fast as possible, but still these spinners come up with more to say. After uncountable generations, they still change the story. Do you know the story of the Sylvanar and the Green Lady? Or should I say, one of the stories? As many stories as there have been Sylvanars. Going back to the first Bosmer, no doubt. But the story the spinners are telling now, it's all wrong. It must change back before it's too late. Ah, you've never been here, have you? This is a temple to the spinners, the Bosmer who make reality with their tales. Let me take you to Elilor in Veilgard, and perhaps you'll see why the story must be corrected. 
You are very kind to help, though you do not seem to know Veilguard's importance. Perhaps Shandy can explain things for you. Stories are told here, and by some ancient magic made to come to pass. Strange people, strange customs. I came to find inspiration in the spinners and their lives. They are a curious lot. Bosmer priests of a sort. They interpret the Green Pact and often serve as diplomats for the Bosmer. They tell stories to each other as their prayers. And strangely enough, their stories come true. As real as a summer roast or a cricket song. I've yet to determine if they speak what they see, or if reality conforms to their desires. One spinner told me how thirsty he was, and suddenly he held a mug of mead. Fascinating. A bard in the best of times, and a scavenger in the worst. I came to hear the stories of the Bosmer, and found them unintelligible. I've only just begun to understand the depths of the spinner's power. I doubt they know it themselves. You've heard of the Sylvanar and the Green Lady, yes? The spinners tell the story of their life together, guiding the Bosmer to prosperity. That is how it usually goes. But it's changed, and I fear for the Bosmer people if it is not changed back. Stories are told here. Many different ones. It's such trouble to write them down. Elilor usually talks only of the Sylvanar. He's the one who noticed their story had changed. A spiritual leader of the Bosmer. He symbolizes the green pact between the Bosmer and Valenwood. Tree thanes, kings, and warlords bow to him. Yet the Sylvanar's power is intangible. Curious, no? Perhaps a bit more intrigue will help. No, too many threads already. Our oh, handfast is useless. It holds none of the magic it once had, and it's all Spinner and Drothith's fault. What's going to happen to the Sylvanar and the Green Lady if the story's changed? We tell the story of the Sylvanar and the Green Lady, their union and reunion in their every incarnation. Spinner and Drothith begins and ends our stories, but she's changed things. Now the story is dark and wild. And we've no power to change it back. Only Spinner and Drosseth can start this story. But once it's started, it can be retold. You may be just what this story needs. A fresh idea added into the mix. Look closely at the handfast to begin the tale. Spinner and Drosseth won't be able to resist. You wish to hear the story of the Sylvanar and the Green Lady? I will do one better. Come forward and witness my creation. Spinner and Drasseth has taken you into her story. I think this means that you're telling the story with her, through your words and actions. How exciting. Well, the Sylvanar and the Green Lady need to be happy together. How that happens changes with every story. So I think you must go through Spinner and Drasseth's story and make sure that happens. Everything else will work itself out. You've started the story, 
I thought Spinner and Drasith lost in her own world by now. She must want you to play the part. For a story as important as the well-being of the Sylvanar and the Green Lady, we Spinners will tell the story together. But Spinner in Drasith has gone on her own, so the story's not yet strong enough. She may want to use you to increase its power. She's let you into a story, and you aren't a spinner. That means you don't need to follow our rules. Follow the story with her, and set it right again, for all our sakes. Veilguard is our retreat, our place of word and song. We protect the Handfast, a symbol of the Basma people. We tell tales of our past and our future. Through our words, the Bosma prosper. When the Sylvanar and the Green Lady unite, they forge a connection to the Bosma and Valenwood, empowering the Handfast. Some say it was crafted by the first Sylvanar. So our stories tell, which in turn makes it true. How can rain fall from the sky? How can rivers flow to the sea? We don't question the gift. We accept it, embrace it, and hopefully use it wisely to benefit our people. He or she is the incarnation of our history, a living symbol of our devotion to the Valenwood and the voice of the Bosma people. But in the end, the Sylvanar is a Bosma, with a title passed from one Sylvanar to the next. The Sylvanar, first of the wild children with eyes open. He alone knows the ways and wiles of the Valenwood. What use is the Green Lady to him, I ask you? A distraction, nothing more. The true purpose of the Bosma was revealed to me. With our unquenchable thirst and never-ending hunger, we become the devouring beast. Without the Green Lady, the Sylvanar will fall. She will return to the wilds and the Bosma shall follow. They must never be together, from the beginning, now, or in the future. The story will change to keep them apart, as they should always have been. The Hound calls the Green Lady, and she will answer. The Sylvanar will be no more. I know where she's going. Go after her! If you're a part of the story, you can enter! Quarry faces the hunter at last. You won't stop me from claiming my prize. She is my puppet, just like all the other creatures in this story. Her weaknesses allowed me to enter. You can't thwart me. You know nothing of the spinners and the power they wield. You may know me by my Daedric title, but for now, I play the part of the Hound. I created a wedge between the Sylvanar and the Green Lady. The Hound is a convenient scapegoat for my invention. Story? No. It is a vision of what is to come, shaped according to my whim. Are you another creature come to torment me? I have had enough of this maze. Speak, apparition! I have always been within this story. I am the Sylvanar, the immortal spirit of the Bosma. I protect and nurture the heart of our people. You have met one of my incarnations, I think. If that is true, then I would know you as friend. Yes, even I have felt the change. The story seeks to destroy me. You must not allow this. I will summon my allies, but I cannot do this alone. Will you help? You must use my plant allies to defend me. Fire stands against fire, like against like. I feel them approach. Be ready. They come. Like stands against like. Choose wisely.
something draws me away. Why won't this thing right? Blast it all, nothing stays! A thousand plagues on whoever invented this infernal device. I dictate the story to this parchment, but nothing happens. I bought this parchment from a trader in Bellarata. He promised if I told my stories to it, they would bond to it and become permanent. Forgive me, it's not your concern. I'll make it work. I can't write. I'm a spinner. I talk. Forget parchment. We need to invoke the ancient rites of flesh and blood. With Horvor blood and a chunk of Old Tusk's flesh, the tale can write itself. Through the caves, you'll find the grove of insects. If you follow the story's path, you can't miss it. There's a cave, a place where tales from the beginning of our time live alongside random Horvor. In the cave lies Old Tusk, the first mammoth to walk Valenwood. Perfectly preserved, but dead. It'll come apart in your hand. No knives needed. Did I say perfectly preserved? I meant not rancid, just showing its age. After all, Old Tusk was the first mammoth. Not much. Enough to make a tincture. I'm not going to turn the blood into ink. No. No, not exactly. What we'll do invokes an ancient rite to inscribe a spinner's story to flesh. Show yourself. Who are you? Where did you come from? What am I doing here? Wait, I think it's all coming back to me. Yes. No. I was trying to destroy the Sylvanar in our story. Why in the two moons would I do that? There's something else in the story. I feel it inside me trying to get out. Trying to control me again. Listen. Take the essence of the Sylvanar. Guard it. Keep it safe. The Green Lady must unite with the Sylvanar as always. Find the Green Lady and save her as you save the Sylvanar. The Hound calls me. I cannot resist. Follow me to my home. I should bite your feet off and see how well you run. The Hound is my consort. He has shown me the way of the wilds, and we rule over the forest together. I need nothing from you. I am the Green Lady, the immortal aspect of Bosma's strength. I take orders from no one. The Hound told me the story, and it excites me. If he's a part of this, then so am I. The story shall include us both. I don't know that name. Hmm. Yet I feel something when you say it, as if this were all a dream. No, you said there would be temptations, charlatans, liars! The beast will take care of you. Friend of the Sylvanar, the Green Lady went by. The way is blocked to you, but I can clear it. Shall I lend you my aid? Nasty, biting bugs are useful. Their insides spit and burn. Bring such parts, and I will clear the path.
Has the friend of the Sylvanar found the distasteful bits? Only then will the path be clear for our friend. Shield your eyes. If the acid splashes upon you, all would weep. Behold, your path is clear. You defeated him. I didn't think it was possible. I see that now. His story is not mine. The incarnation of the Green Lady must know you. I will entrust you with my essence. Complete the story as it should be told. my duties as a spinner. The story comes first, above all emotion, above all pity. I pitied the Hound, but it was a trap. And now, the Sylvanar and the Green Lady will always have, and always should, join as one. You've recovered the essence of both the Green Lady and the Sylvanar. Grant that power to the Handfast, and their story will once again be about their immortal union. The other spinners await you below. Listen, this is marvellous. Down this ramp lies the hollow chamber in which our story can be lured from skin to flesh. Words aren't easy to catch. We Bosma don't force sounds into symbols, so we'll make them write themselves. Enter the chamber in the great tree and slather the blood on the skin hangings within. The blood will pull the story from the animal skins and into Old Tusk's flesh, then We'll seal them to the flesh with fire. I've cast a spell within the chamber. The blood awakens the words spoken to the skins, refreshing them. They'll bond with the nearest flesh, the chunk you took from Old Tusk. Meet me by the fire pit at the bottom of the tree when you're done.
Show it to the Khajiit Bard over there. She's been pestering us for written words and we finally got some. It's changing. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. The immortal story of the Sylvanar and the Green Lady has been put right again. But tell me, who corrupted Indrazith in the first place? Did you find out? I've heard that name before, I think. But it fades when I try to remember, like a bad dream. Still, gloomy thoughts do not become us now. The Spinners will sing your story with gusto, a tale of harrowing adventure and wealth beyond measure. Feel a thousand years young. Your tale captivated every one of us. I do hope Spinner Indrazith will tell another one soon. My cousin was studying with Telenger and Ed's doing. The Hanfast must be prepared for travel. All must be merriment and good cheer. What do you want? The Spinners say their stories come true. What good fortune you changed this one, yes? Roasted meat? Smells like a wood elf delicacy. Is it lunch? Strange markings branded into it. Wait, are these... Did he write their story on a block of meat? Unusual, but not unworkable. Shandy will make this less edible and more readable. Thank you for your gift. Mm. The book smells good enough to eat. wrong with a little opportunistic harvesting. Thank you. 
Yes, yes, in a moment. Jurak Dad does not know why he bothers sometimes. Relics are old. I do not guarantee their potency. Headaches! Enough for three! These people, they think everything is magic. They say to me, Jurak Dar, this ancient spoon is just a spoon. Of course it is a spoon. Aliens ate too, yes? Tell these people I made no false promises. What I sold came from Bellarata, yes? But not everything brims with magica. Tell them, and I will share the way, the secret way into Bellerata. You will tell them, yes? See how hopeless it is. He sold me a Welkin stone. Do Welkin stones dissolve in the rain? I think not. No. I suppose not. But it looked the way they're described in Magic from the Sky. What else could it have been? I suppose you're right. Should have asked, at least. I'd hoped to get my money back. Oh well. It could have been worse. Leave it to a bet. This would never happen in Somerset. Where is a Justiciar when you need one? That cat over there sold me a staff he said was older than the ruin itself. Well, it was old, all right. Fell apart in my hands not a mile out of Valenwood. Ancient artifacts must be preserved before you sell them. Everyone knows that. <laughs> You're right. This isn't Somerset, after all. When all this war business is over, these savages should learn a thing or two about how things must be done. Don't believe anything that swindler says. Look what his garbage did to my brother. It's not safe. I bought the magic stone, slipped it into Elibor's pocket to get back at him for rubbing ivy on my bedroll. Not a minute later, he's struck by a bolt from the sky. But look at him. He's lucky to be alive. Sure, it's in my pack. I'll get it. Brother, no! Looks harmless, right? Wait, what's that tingling? <laughs> They're gone! Are you alright? What powers you must wield! Good, good. Time to pack on my way, yes? What? You expect me to show you now? Not exactly. Juragdar did say maybe, yes? No? Such misunderstanding over a little knick-knack. Just a rock. How could I know what he did? Most of what she gave me was harmless. In the ruins? Bilerata? There is a ghost, yes? She thinks, ah, hey, she thinks I am her lover. So she gives me things, clothing, trinkets, things that belong to him. Most are harmless, all but dangerous, never. Well, mostly. Never drink from an unmarked bottle that's been locked away since the first era with a Daedric guardian stewing in the contents but I'm Rigard the Brash, he said, and all my drinkings are mighty. I tried to warn the man. I do hope his beard grew back. Fine, fine, Juragdar will show you. Come, follow me. They found this in Skyrim at the bottom of a lake. A sword with a poem etched into it. Also the name, Bellerata. It took so long before I found Bellerata. Well, let's begin. Our fates through the years are tied. A lover's kiss, 
not one denied. Our hearts awoke from blissful sleep, where battles break and maidens weep. Away to war, not long to part, with sword enchanted by his sweet heart. A lover's bond forevermore, to keep it lover's heart in store. Too sweet, even for me. But what can you do, yes? Come, she waits. Hold a moment, we should speak. Before we go, there is something you should know. Last time Jurek Dar got out by the fur on his tail, the ghosts want her lover to stay forever. But there is a barrier within. Beyond are the treasures of the aliens, locked up for centuries. Nothing like the trinkets I sold. The poem on the sword opens the ruin, yes? More scribbles are all around the ruins. Poetry. Spoken randomly, they do nothing. But if we knew how they fit together, we could open the ruin and share in the plunder. We'll enter separately as paupers, but leave together rich as kings. So, you will help me? She may not let you in, and there is still the barrier. No. We do not hide our sugar in one boot. We go in separately. Ah, hey. I admit, I do not do this only for you. Until now, I have only been able to, shall we say, receive gifts from her. If even a handful are like the lightning stone, well, it could be fairly lucrative, yes. Once we remove the barrier, the researchers can examine the relics before I sell them. Jurek Dar promises no tricks. Good. Take the sword as a symbol of our pact. I want it back later. I will keep her busy. You figure out the poems, and when we get out, we will both be very rich, yes? I have returned, my love. My love? I cannot... Your sword, where is... You are tired. Let me come closer. You are not Verondil. Get back. You are not a Lanwe, yet you called me here. How? Still here after all this time? I had expected them to crumble with the ages. An old knight, Borondil the Gold, they called me. I had lands, titles, slaves, all dust now. Even my love has forgotten me. A Lanwe, Lady of the Wheel. Surely they still sing of her? Her hair, bright as the sun, her skin, pale as the moon. Nine years we were together, happy. Then the war. I'd gone north to fight the uprising and died there. An army of them. Side by side, they'd stretch from here to the Nibbon. But that was our downfall. So many slaves. We could not bring them to heal. Not all of them. They killed her before slithering away. She brought me here with words of light, but knew me not. 
When I went to her, she cast this barrier to keep me and all others away. I have been in this place ever since, waiting. Released from this nightmare, what else? Alanwe remembers only the sword. Its enchantment blinds her to everything else. If I still had the sword, maybe. Bring her with me. To Aetherius, to whatever lies beyond. What? The sword? Give it to me! Were I alive, I could grant you such splendor. Alas, everything is dust. But I am forever in your debt. My head! I need a moment. Alanwe, at long last I return. Varondo? You have been gone only a day, but it feels like an age. Each day is an age without you. Yes, true, but you... where have you been? It is a long story, but come. Aetherius awaits. Yes, together forever, as was always meant to be. So long, my friend, and thank you for everything. My head thanks you for your haste. Once the barrier fell, whatever she was doing stopped as well. Truly, I am glad. She was very lonely and for so long. But enough melancholy, yes, to our spoils. Where's my catalogue? I must document my finds. My friend, what can Juraktar do for you? I have much to do here. Finding buyers, collecting gold. <laughs> this will be quite profitable, no small thanks to you. Feel free to visit from time to time. Now that those noisy rats have left, we may conduct business, yes? Maybe you can help. I've fallen on hard times. I hope that Zenithar might favor me and help me secure my fortunes, but... Well, I don't know how to ask a god for their... Well, anything, really. An offering? Like food? <laughs> Do the gods even eat? Oh, I have a little gold. It's not much. I turn to the god of coin for a reason, but still, give a little to get a lot. Huh? That makes sense. All right. I'll try anything at this point. My situation can't get any worse. Here goes nothing. I hope Zenithar approves. Zenithar? Are you there? I've given you an offering. Don't you like it?
Someone help! This one has spotted the criminal! I hear you're to blame for ousting Chief Nagoth. Good riddance. Maybe now the Drablog will settle down, and I can finally head back to Jothsagur. Thank you. Not everyone would do what you did. Isn't Landibus a marvel? He's from Somerset. The songs he plays are from all over. The melodies ease my mind. I like being around all these musicians. This is my daughter's. I gave it to Elowen before she left Volkwaston. Where did you find it? Have you spoken to her? No, it can't be. My sweet daughter dead? She yearned for a new way of life. I begged her to stay. Now I'll never see her again. Elowen, those last words I said to her, I take it all back. Forgive me, love. Please go, I can't bear to speak of her anymore. I should have never let Elowen leave my side. It's such an honor to work here. Galathor's Rotmeth is legendary. His family's made it for generations. I wonder if I'll ever be trusted with their secrets. The Five Clawed Walker who helped at Bellarata, yes? Your story will buy Batava sugar in every city between here and Dune, so thank you. In the mood for a little trip, I can take you to Vardenfell. You look strong. Maybe you can help. I can't catch them. They're too big for me. The Mammoths. They're drunk. Galathor's trying to corral them, but Mammoths are dangerous to wake up, even when they're sober. They've already trampled the herdsmen. Splash some of this water on the Mammoths down the road to wake them up. Be careful. The tusks aren't for show. Once you're finished, Galathor will pay you. He's at the Mammoths' pen. Tell him Peruin sent you. Galathor's upset about this. We all are. It's bad for business when the mammoths get loose. Although it does say something about the strength of our brewery, doesn't it? Strong enough to put a mammoth to sleep? Not really. The mammoths usually sleep it off. But this time they got out, and they really, really hate to be woken up. But I'm sure you'll have no trouble. I mean, just stand back a bit.
Ethel. Someone's broken into the brewery. I was in the brewery when someone struck me on the back of my head. I must have been out for several minutes. Whoever hit me is still upstairs with the sacred brew. We've got to stop him. I didn't see him, but he must have been big. Huge. Probably an orc. What are you trying to say? At any rate, someone's got to go to the upper floor and check on the Rotmouth. I'd go, but my head's pounding like crazy. I don't know how the mammoths got out, but they certainly aren't coming back in on their own. The brewery's up the hill. Follow your nose, you can't miss the smell of fermenting rot mat. I'll stay here and tend to Alfrost. Rot mat. It takes years to make. Precious stuff used in ceremonies, weddings and the like. The mammoths seem to have gotten into it, though it's anyone's guess how. It's kept high up in the trees. We make it from fermented meat, seasoned with thunderbug organs. I can't give you the exact recipe, naturally. Of course. Would you have us drink wine made from fruit, as the Ultima do? That's disgusting. Not to mention a violation of the Green Pact. We could hardly serve such a thing at a wedding. Yes, it symbolizes the muscle of the boar, the power of the forest, the strength of the Bosma people. No wedding can take place without it. We make it from... Of course. You don't know? We, the Bosma, I, I mean, don't eat plants. We don't farm and we certainly don't cut down trees. In exchange, the forest provides for us. You've seen our homes. They're grown that way. I almost had the bogger, but that right tusk came from nowhere. I'm going to have bruises in the morning, I tell you. Ah, oh, my head is the only thing that doesn't hurt. I heard the jade agreed. Hurry, take that to the hill. The first fires will be lit soon. What happened up there? I heard fighting. Firuin? I know she wasn't happy, but I didn't think. The brew. Is it safe? Then it could be anywhere. This is an insult. To me, my family, we've brewed Rotmeth for centuries. You've got to stop them. I mean, we. We've got to stop them. She mentioned Balding Hill. We can only hope it's there. I don't know. We had an argument. She asked me to run away with her, to meet her there. I thought it was a joke, but that's the last I saw her. She knew I would never leave. 
This is my legacy. My family's legacy. It's a rocky hill on the other side of the Mammoth's Corral. We sometimes take them there. The grass gives them a peppery flavor. I'd go with you, but I'm nothing in a fight. I'll stay here, out of your way. If only we hadn't... Listen, if we work quickly, we can cut our losses. Those thieves didn't nab everything. One of the Rotmeth bladders is ready to turn, but we're short on a few critical seasonings. You're good with animals. Maybe you can help me out. Just a couple of things, really. Thunderbug hearts from the wild thunderbugs down the hill, and some maggots. And, well, if you want to know, there's something else bothering me. Can you meet me by the cold cave when you're done? It's right below our feet, so to speak. The entry's on the hillside. You can't miss the cold air coming from it. Promise you'll meet me there? by those too often. <laughs> <laughs> 